Hi and welcome to another video series with Modules Unraveled. This free series has been sponsored by the great guys over at OSTraining.com. They provide in-person and online training in Drupal, WordPress, and Joomla. Now in this series, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your site to automatically display images using different image styles based on the size of the browser window. This is incredibly useful for sites that use a responsive theme. A uh, common issue is that the site layout responds to the window size, for example, on a mobile device. However, the images stay the same size, which often requires the user to scroll horizontally to view them fully, or even worse, the images overlap content on the page. Now, after you've watched this series, you'll know how to configure your images to respond along with your layout so that everything looks exactly the way you want it across all devices. And for this video, I'm going to be using a Drupal 7 installed using the standard installation profile. I'm also going to use the admin menu module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash admin underscore menu for administration and configuration tasks instead of the default Drupal 7 toolbar. And responsive images are most effective when used with a responsive theme. So I'm going to be using the Corolla theme, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash Corolla because it is responsive and it looks pretty good straight out of the box. Now it's a sub theme of adaptive theme, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash adaptive theme. So you'll need to go ahead and download that too. All right, I've got Corolla installed, enabled and set as the default theme. I've also enabled the AT core theme that comes with adaptive themes. So if we go home, we should have Corolla enabled now. And there it is. All right, so we're ready to get started setting up our responsive images. We're gonna use the responsive images and styles module to take care of knowing when to apply our various image styles to our images. You can find this at drupal.org slash project slash R-E-S-P underscore I-M-G. And it does require the C tools module, which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash C tools. So we'll need to install that as well. Okay, with both of those installed, we're gonna enable chaos tools and the responsive images and styles modules. Now, before we set up our image styles, I'm gonna create a new content type called featured content. The only field I'm gonna add to this is an image field, uh, and I'm gonna create a view that will cycle through these images in part three. So to create the content type, we'll go to structure, content types, add content type. We'll call it featured content and give it a description. And then we'll scroll down and choose save and add fields. I'm gonna delete the body field and add a new field called featured image. This will be an image field and I'll save. I'm gonna go ahead and make this required just because um, it's the only field on the content type, so it should probably be required. And I'll put it in the file directory featured slash image. You can put this wherever you want. All right, save. Okay, our content type is created. And in the next video, we're gonna configure our various image styles uh, to make them responsive.